Half a tree is the location. My name is Kazma and welcome to another exciting week of pre -dis. Of course, this is a favorite show we're going to give to you guys the latest in Jamaica's entertainment and lifestyle. Now we're capturing all the hustle and bustle right here in one of the major business districts in Kingston because half a tree, everybody loves half a tree, everybody there. And pre -dis starts right now. Alright, so we kick off the show this week with our celebrity interview from Tammy Chin. She's a Jamaican singer and everybody knows Tammy Chin. She's beautiful, she's sexy, and she's talented. Our producer Kevin Jackson, he caught up with her recently to find out exactly what's going on in her career, her musical life, as well as her love life. Now let's hear from Tammy. I like Tammy, you know, much. Career-wise, what's the latest? Um, well, you know, I've been on a bit of a break for the last year um, for a few reasons. But, you know, uh, since the beginning of this year, I've decided, you know, to start again, to start from scratch almost and, you know, develop a new sound. I've been in the studio a lot with Washroom Entertainment, kind of just getting back to basics and, you know, getting back to music, getting back to the root of what I love to do. And, you know, by the end of this year, people are going to definitely be hearing some more songs. A few years ago, you were signed to an overseas label and then things kind of fell apart and everybody was like watching Tommy's the next big thing from Jamaica to do it big internationally. What happened? Uh, you know, it was just a lot of different variables that came together that didn't make for such a good pie. You know, a lot of different ingredients that, you know, weren't the right fit at the time. But, um, you know, a lot of people may look at it and see, you know, the, the, the failure, the disappointment in it. and. I, at this point, can finally come to a point where I can see that it was actually a good thing. It gave me a chance to weed out the people in my circle. It gave me a chance to kind of start from scratch and get an understanding of what, you know, my next situation should be like and what I want it to look like, you know. So, you know, I still have high hopes for myself. I know a lot of people out there still have high hopes for me. And um, I plan to see all those things come, come true. <laughs> you had a big hit on the Billboard charts with Akon, um, Frozen. Um, how did that song come about and what kind of doors did it open for you? Well, you know, uh, because I was signed to the label, I got a chance to work with Akon. Um, you know, that song was just a fun song that we wrote one day in the studio because it was cold, not because of any deep thought behind it. It was just a fun tune. Um, and, you know, it opened a lot of doors for me. I got a chance to perform that song um, all over. You know, I got a chance to perform it with Akon a couple of times as well both abroad and even here in Jamaica at one some fest, you know. So it opened a lot of doors. It got my name out to people who have, who have never normally gotten a chance to even know me. And um, I got a chance to go on tour with New Kids on the Block to open for them and it opened that door. And, you know, it's still opening. I can't believe that I still perform that song here in Jamaica and get such a good response from it. So it was a good thing. New Kids on the Block, what was that experience like touring with them? It was good, you know. It gave me a chance to see how it works on the... Uh, in the big arena, so to speak, and um, you know they were playing sold out shows to thousands of people every night, and you know it gave me a chance to kind of see how things operate and you know how professional they were and, and at the same time how humble they were, even though they're big mega stars and you know um, also opening on that tour was Natasha Bedingfield and Lady Gaga, so you know it really you know opened me up to a, to a lot of different experiences. You mentioned Lady Gaga, but um there's a track on JLo's album, Hypnotico, that you recorded back in the day. How do you feel about her covering uh, one of your, your, your songs? Well, first and foremost, you know, I co-wrote that song with um, Lady Gaga and Red One and Claude Kelly. And so I'm happy that it's on JLo's album, you know, because the, the, the amount of exposure it's going to get being on her album is a blessing to me, you know. Um, the, the, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, Tabby, you know, we love your version. And, you know, what about your version? Don't you feel this and that? But people don't understand it's still my song, meaning I have a big part to do 
with the way that song is, the way it was written, everything about it. So it, it's still a great success for me, you know. So And I'm glad to see it not going to waste. That album was shelved and now what we're trying to do is shop the album, shop those songs to different artists, see who wants it, because they're still good songs, you know. So that's where I'm at right now, just also working on the songwriting side of life, you know. Since I've been married, I've been a lot busier, I think. <laughs> it's a lot of work being a wife, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, um, I have been very busy, but I've been busy a lot with my personal life as well, you know. Um, a lot of, you know, you haven't been hearing as much music from me, but I've really taken the last year and a half, you know, enjoying my life and enjoying running errands and enjoying going to the supermarket and going to, to, the, to the bank and paying my bills. And, you know, I, there's something really wonderful about that part of my life too, you know, but it does keep me very busy. You know, I'm up every morning at 6.30. And I deal with my regular life in the day, and come nighttime, I deal with studio life. So I don't have much of a life otherwise. I wrote that song while I was, um, you know, just. I never forget when I got the rhythm. And I just, it sang a love song to me. I never forget it. Actually, my sister, Tessan, was with me, and my father. And we just kept singing that hook over and over again. And it just. I don't know how that song turned out the way it did, but I thank God every day it turned out the way it did. It was inspired from a very personal place, and it's a true story. And the fact that we have this amazing platform to, you know, branch off into other things, to be heard, when we stand behind things that we believe in, people will listen. Um, that's definitely an upside for me, you know, being a role model to so many people and, and, you know, at the same time being able to relate to everybody is a great thing, you know. I'm, I'm the type of person that people can come up to me any time of day and say, hello, how are you doing? You know, even at first I think, la, just a she. No, I'm not going to say that to she, she all right. But, you know, once people come up to me and say hello, they know that, you know, I'm just a regular human. Final question, what's the next big thing coming from you out of the musical lab? I am really excited about the stuff I've been working on um, with Washroom. I did a song, I've done quite a few songs with them, um, but I have two collaborations that I'm excited with. I did a collaboration with Assassin. I haven't done a collaboration with him since I did my first album years ago and recently did a, a, a collaboration with Sean Paul as well. And let me tell you, the, the vibe of this is just so me. You take me, you love me for real, I promise you hear me calling. Alright, pre this, it is still one of the most talked about parties in Kingston. Held in Hope Gardens recently, about a couple weeks ago, we're talking about the Attitude, the black and white edition. Back by popular demand, we have it right here on pre this, so you can capture more of the highlights. Check it out, man. You're tuning in to pre this, and we're the five girls on Altitude having a great time. I'm wearing all my favorite brands, 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 brands. Give me some space for both my hands, 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 hands. You, yeah, you, yeah, cause it goes on. Hi, welcome to Pre Days. We're the Old Spice Girls here at Altitude having a great time. And we love the Old Spice products, and we hope you do too. Woo! We're talking about the Wrigley's Five event calendar. Now, if you want to find out the hottest events, what's going on around in Jamaica, this is the calendar of events for you. Now, we're talking about reggae summer is in the air, ATI, and so too is Dream Weekend, Dream or Die. Now, the Wrigley's Five events calendar is well underway. Pre this.
All right, time now for our first commercial break. I have to get in mother to so refresh myself. And I'm kind of getting hungry right here in half a tree. But don't worry, more pre this right after this.